Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to be showing you how to make a leaflet which you can use for club promotional materials for example on Canva. So there's loads of different templates, I'm going to choose a couple of them. The great thing about Canva is you can work on multiple ones, uh, multiple posters or leaflets at once. Um, this is a poster template um, which you're going to be looking at but it can be used to make a smaller leaflet um, or a larger poster or you can make, you know, you can have one template um, and then obviously print it as both a poster and a leaflet. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of different variations of posters. I've got all my images here. I'll just add a couple more. Um, and uh, I'm going to click and drag them um, onto um, the uh, template here. So I'm using a, a Canva template, one of the free templates they get. This is a free um, website you can use to make your leaflets. Um, so I'm just going to click and drag them on. Um, that was not the best one really because it's not showing a dodgeball. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to try and make it the, the poster, um, uh, you know, as inclusive as possible. I want to try and make sure that, uh, especially if I'm a club that, you know, maybe is trying to get in younger players as well as um, uh, older players. Uh, I'm trying to want to try and get female players as well. Um, I want to try and, you know, really show that on my poster. So you can see here that I'm just editing the one that Canva's given me um, just to try and use as many um, images as possible. Now, let's just pretend that all these images come from the same club. Um, and I'm then just going to edit the text at the bottom um, just to make sure that it um, reflects the messages that I'm trying to put across. Obviously, Jazz Night is the message, definitely not the message I'm trying to put across. Uh, so I'm trying to picture, you know, this is a leaflet that I might um, ask to leave in like local cafes where my uh, near where my training is taking place, for example, or for a university. I might I'm leaving it. Um, I might be going to hand it out near accommodation halls, you know, in the lead up to freshers fairs, for example, the lead up to um, uh, you know, the first training or trials of the year. Um, but I'm going to try and make my, sure my leaflet's got as much information as possible while still um remaining not too kind of clogged up with information. So um, you know, all the information that we need. Uh, so you know, where's training? Um, if there's any uh, offers on, so for example, first few sessions free. Um, uh, when does training take place? But I don't want to clog it up too much, and I want the images to speak for themselves. I want Dodgeball to look nice and exciting um, and inclusive um, and try to, um, uh, you know, have that sense of design to the leaflet as well to make it eye catching. I'm also just going to put um, the uh, the Facebook logo on because I'm going to make sure that people, who everyone who picks up my leaflet should be able to then locate us online. I'm just going to put like Falcon Dodgeball, for example, on here um, on the right. And I'm going to be using the, um, I'm only using two fonts on this. Um, so I can have like a main kind of chunky font and then I'm going to have a body font as well. Um, and then if I wanted to, I can add a phone number, which I'm going to do on one of the other leaflets. I've got my little offer here that the you know, first two sessions free, for example. Um, and then I can just download it as a PDF, which I can then send off to, you know, if I want to say if I've got a, a budget of £50 to spend on leaflets, I can just send that PDF off to a company that prints leaflets off um, and you haven't had to pay them to, then to design it. So that only took me about 10 minutes. Obviously, I'm, I've got more experience in Canva, but it shouldn't take you too long to do. And you can see this is the finished article here. OK, now I'm going to show you a couple of other designs as well, because um, let's say you want to go for something a bit more um, uh, kind of minimalistic. Uh, let's say we're looking, um, uh, we'll have a go at doing like a youth one in a moment. But you can see I just click and drag. I really like this photo. Um, let's say I'm trying to get in more younger plays if I'm specifically a youth dodgeball club. Um, just want a bit more kind of like, uh, you know, minimalist feel to it. You know, want to have this much fun. Um, and then I'm going to get some, add some of the details about training, for example. I'm going to put, again, our Facebook link up. Um, uh, our Facebook name there um, and just try to make his eye catching if possible all the time thinking you know if if uh, if I'm a parent what am I looking for um, what I'm looking for you know if I'm looking for activities for my kids to do for example um, and you know we really want to kind of think about what what is the purpose of this leaflet and um, what are the messages behind it you know what really will represent our dodgeball club if our dodgeball club is all about having fun um, let's try and portray that in our literature um, and then I'm just going to put the training details again at the bottom as an example here. Um, but but again, you can change absolutely everything here. You can have all your own colours, add your club's logo, um, you know, try and make it as personalised as possible, but just don't overfill the leaflet, I would say is my main piece of advice. Um, again, though, you can actually, as well as doing your template, you can make it completely from scratch, of course. It's just that, especially if you're new to Canva, again, this is the first time making a leaflet for your club. Um, Canva is absolutely fantastic. It looks a lot more professional than PowerPoint. You've got access to all of these you know, free, amazing fonts. You don't have to pay for it. Um, so you can see here, I'm just going to show you that you can actually play with the filters on here as well, just make it a bit funky. There's some quite funky, like, glitch ones, um, some quite funky kind of, like, uh, they almost look quite 
almost kind of like the, like the old 3D glasses with the different colours. Um, so you just play around with it really uh, and just to try and make it eye-catching but also, you know, um, not too overloaded.